There are many people who still struggle about the relationship between faith and works, grace and works. I think it partly stems from a misunderstanding of salvation itself. There are many heretical teachings about what salvation is. First of all, let us think about prayer. Our minds are so easily filled with unwanted thoughts. Our heads buzz with all kinds of thoughts, uninvited thoughts, many of them evil. And yet when we try to think of God, when we try to pray, it takes effort. It takes great struggle to persist in focusing on God and praying. It takes work. Elder Ephraim of Arizona and Athos says it's like a garden. If a garden is left untreated, unkept, it will fill with thorns and weeds. But if a gardener is vigilant, if he works hard, he may produce an orchard that, that gives great fruit. And so it is with us. If we leave ourselves uncared for, if we do not struggle spiritually, many thorns and weeds will grow, ills, passions. But of course, we need to be careful. It isn't the farmer's work alone that produces the fruit. A farmer may work for many years and encounter drought and produce no fruit at all. So we must always remain humble and recognize that it is God's grace alone that produces the spiritual fruit within us. Yes, we are called to struggle, to be co-workers with God's grace. But it is not our work that produces the fruit. But our work, the works that we perform, repentance, prayer, fasting, all of these are gifts from God. Our struggle, our works, are gifts from God. We cannot perform them without God's grace. So everything good that we think we can do comes from God. We are utterly dependent on God's grace for all these things. But if we do not struggle, the fields of our heart will go unkept and will be clogged. And I said it comes really, many people's misunderstanding from a false understanding of salvation itself. And that is because from the Roman Catholic teaching and Protestant Lutherans and Calvinists and so on, salvation became this legalistic idea of being judged guilty or innocent. And that was it. Whereas in reality, salvation is the process, the process of being restored and being healed. And in that process, we are to be co-workers with God's grace. We must work to repent, to change, to be transformed into Christ's likeness. This is the process of salvation. It isn't some legalistic term where an angry God is deciding whether to judge us guilty or innocent and cast us away. But we are working to be closer to God, to draw closer to God. This is our salvation. To discover God, to know God, to draw close to Him intimately and in our hearts be transformed into His likeness.